Well, I understand Eisenkot also talked about the threat to the north, specifically from Hezbollah, terrorists and their involvement in Syria. What did he have to say about that threat? Right. He put out some interesting figures, first of all, noting that there are still thought to be some 2,000 Iranian advisors still on the ground in Syria. In terms of Hezbollah themselves, about 8,000 fighters still on Syrian soil. This all in addition to about 10,000 Shiite militiamen who come from different places, such as Iraq, such as Afghanistan, Pakistan, all really under the influence of Iran, all these different forces getting orders from Tehran and still very active on Syrian soil. Let's hear more of what he had to say about the Syrian arena in these comments. We cannot ignore the fact that Hezbollah, Shiite militias, Iran find themselves on the winning side in Syria, along with Bashar Assad. There's a desire to return to the Golan Heights to exploit Iranian success, create a land, air and sea presence in Syria, build intelligence bases, and the risk from our point of view is significant. Our effort is centered on preventing this entrenchment on our northern border through military means, international means, and I think Israel can find itself part of a very wide coalition which has a reason to prevent Shiite hegemony in Syria.